Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Ask Brian Chow. Today, we will continue with our e-invoice sharing session. If this is your first time to watch my e-invoice sharing, please watch my previous video before you come to this. To learn e-invoice, we need to do it step by step. Today's topic will be self-built e-invoice. Let's begin. Under certain circumstances, we need to act on behalf of the supplier to do the e-invoice. This is called self-built e-invoice. The buyer or we assume the role of supplier to do the self-built e-invoice and submit to IRB for validations. The validated e-invoice can be used as proof of expenses for tax purpose. Self-built e-invoice is allowed for the following transactions such as payment to agents, dealers, distributors, goods sold or service rendered by foreign suppliers, profit distributions, example dividend distributions, e-commerce transactions, payout to all betting and gaming winners, and acquisitions of goods or services from individual taxpayers who are not conducting a business. The details for self-built e-invoice is same as normal e-invoice where we need the supplier's name, supplier's TIN number, supplier's registration number, supplier's address, contact number, email, SST number if required, classification, and also invoice number. We will take this as an example. Transactions which involve payments in monetary forms to agent, dealers, or distributor. Agent help us to make a sales to customer. We as seller will do the e-invoice to the customer. We need to pay the agent commission. So this explains that agent will collect commission from us where they help us to do a sales. Under this scenario, we need to do the self view e-invoice where the suppliers will actually be the agent and the buyers is the seller which assume the role as supplier. So the supplier's name will be the agent's name. Supplier's TIN number is the agent TIN number. Supplier's registration is the registration number for the agent. For foreign country agents, then the TIN number will be EI9030. And for Malaysians, TIN number can be my card, TIN number, or both. For non-Malaysian individuals, can be TIN number only or both TIN number and passport number. The supplier's address will be the agent's address. Supplier's contact number email will be the agent's contact number and email. Supplier SST number will be the agent's SST number if applicable. Classification and also the e-invoice number, which is the document reference number used by us for internal tracking purpose. This is an example of self-built e-invoice where you can see we as the seller is the share automation and remember hard, but the supplier TIN number name and other supplier information is our agent information. The buyer TIN number is our TIN number. Buyer registration number is our company registration number and also buyer SST is our SST. The details of the item or service is the commission to the agent. Self-built e-invoice is a transaction that every business will be encountered in e-invoice era, especially when you have a supplier who are not registered for a business. Example, your freelancer or your cleaner and introducer for your business and so on. It is important for you to know how to create and self-built e-invoice. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.